All right, so this is just a quick video of a demonstration of why the fundamentals of precision marksmanship are so important. So I often get on the long range Facebook pages or the long range forums and I'll see people post up pictures of their groups that are subpar and they'll put a little story about their rifle and their rifle is made up of all the right equipment um, to be successful at precision shooting and they can't understand why they have put all this money into this rifle um, it is made up of everything that it should be made up of and the rifle still won't shoot those half minute or better groups that they desire um, and a lot of times it's easier to take a look at our equipment instead of look at ourselves it's a lot easier to say to fault say there's a fault in some sort of equipment that we have than to fault our technique or our abilities so I came home from the range yesterday and I had eight rounds of my 185 grain RDF load for my 7 SOM here um, left in my box. So I figured today when I got home from work I'd do a little demonstration. So I laid down 100 yards and shot two four shot groups with those eight rounds. So the first group I tried my darndest to not utilize the fundamentals of precision marksmanship. So. I've got a video if you check it out on the pre -shot, on a pre-shot and post-shot checklist and the fundamentals of precision marksmanship. Well, I, in my very first group here, you'll see I tried as hard as I could to not utilize the fundamentals. I did not line up straight behind the rifle. Um, I did not use proper breathing. Um, I tried to not use a slow, steady squeeze and just break the trigger as soon as I had the crosshairs lined up. Um, and as you'll see. My first group here was, I haven't measured these up yet, I'll measure them up and film up here in the video, but the first group is somewhere around an inch. Not bad, but definitely nowhere near what this rifle is capable of. And then the second four shot group I laid down, I lined up behind the rifle, I practiced good breathing, I practiced slow steady trigger squeeze, all the fundamentals that I laid out in my precision marksmanship fundamentals video, and you'll see that you see the results. So four shot group, sub half minute, probably close to quarter MOA, if not quarter MOA, or four shot group, one MOA. Um, as you can see, they both, both these groups line up with the same exact center of the group. So the center of both of these groups is to the same point of impact, but there's obviously a difference. And the only difference, the lobe was the same, the point of aim was the same, the only difference is the one, I was utilizing proper fundamentals. So that's why fundamentals are so important. So just so you guys can see this, I'm gonna show you guys the two groups being shot. And hopefully this will help some of you guys that have a hard time taking a look at ourselves. Because trust me, for the longest time, I did the same thing. I didn't want to believe that it was me that was the problem and why I couldn't get the groups that I wanted. Um, and after I really started working on dry firing, working on practicing the fundamentals, it all started to come together. So, hope you guys enjoy this. Hope this is helpful. I'll see you guys next time. I'm out. Okay, so not terrible, probably about an inch. Now, with good fundamentals, so I'm going to scoot over behind the rifle. And we've got some, I know it's only 100 yards, but this wind is terrible today. Even here in my backyard, it's surrounded by trees and all that. 
Okay. So. Now we're going to utilize our fundamentals. Okay, so I don't think there is any denying that the group that we shot utilizing proper fundamentals lined up behind the rifle, breathing properly, breaking the shot at the bottom of my natural, my natural respiratory pause, controlling recoil, a, a proper slow steady trigger squeeze and not just breaking the shot as soon as I have the, as soon as I have the target lined up. All the things that I talk about in my fundamentals video and we'll measure those groups up but it's obvious the group utilizing proper fundamentals is by far superior to the group where I just line the crosshairs up and break the shots.